CRISPR. It's science's potential secret weapon for treating inherited diseases like sickle cell anemia and muscular dystrophy. So, how does CRISPR work? To be specific, CRISPR is a system that guides a protein called Cas9 to cut DNA, basically editing your genes. Let's say you want to fix some faulty DNA in a genome. It's a three-step process. To make the CRISPR system go, you provide the genetic address for where the bad stuff is in the DNA. Cas9 uses that sequence to find the bad stuff. Then it starts cutting. How does this all play out? CRISPR uses a guide molecule of RNA, as many as 105 letters long, 20 of which match the target sequence in a gene to find the bad stuff. Swap out the guide RNA, and Cas9 can be directed to millions of different sites. Think of it like an itsy-bitsy tracking device. Then what? Cutting to delete. Or cutting to edit. Delete. Use CRISPR to cut a gene, which can deactivate the bad gene. Edit. CRISPR cuts, but now with a template to make a DNA repair. After the repair, you've got a fresh, clean gene. Hmm. This seems pretty simple. Is CRISPR really such a big deal? Yes, it most certainly is. Consider sickle cell anemia. This disease causes crippling pain, organ failure, and premature death, all because of a single misspelled letter of DNA. Change that, and poof, goodbye sickle cell anemia. Some scientists believe CRISPR could even be used to treat diseases like muscular dystrophy, and they've already shown this works in mice. Okay, so getting the CRISPR ingredients into a human body isn't going to be easy, but scientists are working on it. 